Hello, everybody out there in the land of make-believe. Uncle Barco here. And, uh, you know, I, I got a, just a short video this week. Got a bunch of stuff going on. But I wanted to share this with you. I'm, uh, my videos, I'm always saying, uh, art is 10% vision and 90% remembering what your particular vision is. And I'm sure that sounds just like uh, uh, arty, farty, mumbo, jumbo. But uh, it is something that I have to remind myself of all the time. And I, I make these kinds of mistakes over and over and over, usually later in the evening when I'm starting to lose con concentration. I work on stuff for like 10 hours at a time sometimes. So here's the situation. Um, I am working on stickers for uh, digital planners. So these are PNG files. People can use these stickers uh, and stick them on whatever background they want. So I'm making these for people who want to do like a witchy, spooky sort of uh, planners, you know, grimoires, books of shadows, things like that. In any case, so I have this candle I was uh, working on and I was getting into it and I really, I was kind of, I was messing around and I, I got into this little, so these kind of squiggly lines with the little dots and stuff. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I was doing that on another sticker for this. Uh, and I thought, okay, let me try to keep the style uh, the same through the whole thing. So uh, when I started doing this, uh, this candle, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to replace all my lines with these little squiggle lines. And uh, that looks really cool. And I got really into it. And uh, when I got done, I was like, that looks pretty good. Oh, wait a second. These are for stickers. So the people who are going to use these are going to stick them on their planners and they're going to be like uh, this big. Like this big, right? And look at he can't. That's not. That's not right. That's he can't. It's all blurry and it's, it's, it's no good. That's no good. I was just doing art and I wasn't remembering what my vision was. And uh, my vision was the, the end game. What I was making the art for was for little stickers, little stickers like that. So when I was working on the project, I was all up in it like this, and. Uh, I forgot to just back off and say, okay, all right, how, what's that going to look like small? Oh, like crap? Well, let me fix it. Got all done with it. Got all done with it. And, um, and said, oh, yeah, I like it. I'm going to make 10 more. So I made a bunch more in different colors. And then I opened it up and was like, oh, wait a second. I mean, I went all through the whole process before I realized, oh, wait a second. These are going to be this big. That doesn't look right. So now I'm going to have to go back into the original drawing and take out all these little squiggly lines, uh, darken up the borders a little bit so that you can really, so that it jumps out when it's yay small like this. So did I learn my lesson? No, I did not learn my lesson because I did another thing last night. And same freaking thing is I, I had this thing. I wanted to use it as a sticker. I'm like, oh, let me get in on it. And then I started, and I got too close. And, you know, when I get in there, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do the shading like this, and I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to put little highlights in there like that. And um, This line, the, the border line, was actually white until last night. And then I kind of pulled back, and I said, that looks pretty good. Oh, wait a second, I'm using it for a sticker. Wait a second, I'm using it for a sticker. So, again, it's going to be like that big. Now, I don't know, that doesn't, it doesn't pop. It doesn't pop. It looks better than it did... Last night, before I made the realization, because I had white lines on it. Again, it, just, it did not look right. So I made the made the border lines a little gray. It looks better. But I'm still going to have to redo it. And that's going to cost me time, you know? And if I had just kept in mind what my vision was, what the end game was, why I was making the art in the first place, um, you know, I wouldn't have this problem. You know, Almost all the art I've ever made has just been just to do it, just to do it and get it done with it and look at it and go, yep, that's art. But now I've got, you know, I'm, 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 uh, I'm marketing my art. I'm, 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 I'm making it for particular purposes and I need to remember my vision that in the end I need it to look like this and I'm going to use it for that. And I can't just, I can't just art all over the place and expect it to, you know, uh, be usable at the end. This again, again, up up front here, close close up front. It looks pretty good to me, anyway. But that's not what it's for. Nobody's going to be looking at it like that. Everybody's going to be looking at it like this, like a little sticker on their planner 
or whatever. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's almost there. I'll get it. I'll, I'll be able to fix this up by tonight. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I know I'm always saying, oh, it's vision. Remember your vision. Don't forget your vision. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not just spouting mumbo jumbo. I'm actually trying to re remind myself not to get all up in it. No, you get all up in your art and you forget to pull back and remember why you're doing it and what it's for. So Hmm, that's it. I don't know if that's helpful to anybody but me, but I'll probably I should probably rewatch this once a week because you know when I'm getting about you know I'll work on a project sometimes ten hours in a row and you get into that eighth hour and you get a little loopy and you start forgetting why you're doing it and just you just laying on paint and putting in dots and squiggles and stuff and uh, you just gotta remember to back off every once in a while. Take a good look at it. Remember what you're doing, why you're doing it, and make sure that you're making the art for the purposes you're making the art for. So that's it. Uh, I'll uh, get another video. I want to get some more advice video about... Um, I want to get more advice videos out for people who are trying to transition from uh, hobbyists into uh, full-time you know, art as a professional. And uh, I've done a lot of research, have a lot of ideas, want to get some videos out... Uh, but I got to script them. I got to script them. I tried to just do them on the fly like this one. And yeah, I babble. I'm a little bit of a babbler. And I want to give you good information that you can use. It's concise. So yeah, now it's taking me a little while to get some of these uh, scripts written. But uh, yeah, let me get more videos out with advice for artists uh, who want to transition uh, to, uh, to full-time working artists. And uh, also, you know, just these goofy little videos too. I like making videos. I don't mind making videos. It's kind of fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, as always, art is 10% vision and 90% remembering what your particular vision is. So always remember, never forget your vision. And Godspeed, Earthlings.